Hi, I'm the Wolfman. Thanks for tuning in. And I'm standing here on the north shore of Lake Erie in Ontario, Canada at something spectacular. This is a wind farm. If you look over me back here, you'll see a bunch of wind turbines. And right beside me that you can't see is a giant turbine that I'm standing right underneath. So I'm gonna go and take a walk over and we're gonna talk about some wind turbines a little bit more. So this is a small to medium size wind turbine. As you can see, it's a pretty good size for calling it small to medium. Right now, it's taking the thermogenic force of the earth, basically the wind that's blowing across the earth, and it's making electrical power for us. Right as I stand here, this is powering homes. Now, people say that these things are very, very noisy. I have a very sensitive lav mic on me that picks up everything from airplanes to birds. Can you hear the wind turbine? Probably you can't hear it. There's a little tiny bit that I can hear of what's called a post whoomp. And that is when the turbine itself, the blade, passes by this big huge post here on the one side and it goes whoomp, and that's it. But the reality is everything makes a noise. If this was set up near a highway, I can guarantee you that a jake brake from a tractor trailer or even the whir of the cat engine as it cruises up the road, that's louder than this thing. There is almost no noise. When I pulled up here in my Jeep, I couldn't even hear it until I got out of the vehicle and closed the door. It's amazingly quiet. Now there's not really any negative effects of this other than the fact that you can see them on the landscape. But you can also see nuclear power on the landscape. An awful lot of the stigma that goes along with these turbines, unfortunately, is just that. It's just stigma. It really doesn't mean anything. It's things that are illogical arguments like they kill birds. And you know what? I completely agree with everybody that says that. I agree that at some point this turbine most likely kills a bird. But you ask yourself, how many automobiles kill birds every day? How many birds fly into windows every single day? I can almost imagine that there's a greater number of bird deaths from automotive traffic, aircraft operations, and standing buildings than are here. I can take a look all over here. I don't see one single dead bird body. That kind of tells me that I don't think that that's really an argument that actually carries a whole lot of weight. Now consider this with nuclear power. When a nuclear power plant starts to leak, how many, kill, how many birds would that kill? How many animals would it kill? How many humans would it kill? An awful lot. So I'd just like to say thank you very much for watching this video. I'm a huge supporter of any kind of energy that doesn't actually has a whole lot of human impact. So thanks for watching this video. I'm the Wolfman. Please consider subscribing.